Hey Aquarius, welcome back to Deku Tarot. Welcome to your November 2020 reading. We're just going to get right into this. I'm reading this actually on November 5th. Energy is real intense. Astrology is really intense and it will be all month. There's some really hard hitting and intense moments, including that third Jupiter Pluto conjunction on November 12th. And that's going to be a game changer. I think a lot of people are not expecting it to be what it will probably be, but um, we're going to be able to see that in the public eye and I definitely think in our private lives as well. So Aquarius, let's get really, let's get right into this. We're frustrated. There's been frustrations, disappointments, letdowns, a lot of it having to do with work and money. And not seeing that grow the way we want it to. We also are not seeing the progression with something that's been really heating up for a while now. And again, that's just how we're feeling now. So let's continue to see what comes up here for you guys. But when we first get these two cards out, two sevens in a row. Seven of Pentacles reversed and then the Seven of Swords. Something that has been extremely dissatisfying that we have wanted so badly to work, that we've wanted very badly to build up and we've probably put a lot of time, effort, money, energy into this and it's just not giving us what we want. For some of you, it definitely feels like more of a work situation. But whatever it is, We've been waiting and waiting and waiting and as a fixed sign you have to know when it's time to walk away whether you want to or not whether it's comfortable or not and it's definitely time to walk away when you get these two looking at each other here I mean I'm gonna hold it this way because that's how I see it on the table it's just gonna look different when I when you guys see it on the camera here but he's looking right at that and saying oh my god answer to this is to stop taking this all on like it's going to do like it's going to make a difference the thing is this month if you're not willing to recognize where your vices are where you hold yourself up where you stop yourself from moving forward in the way that you want to where you stop you know yourself from building the life that you want the foundation that you want and seeing the growth especially again in terms of your success your efforts building into something um, if you haven't seen that, you're going to really need to take a hard look at that this month. Because if not, the universe is going to come and take that from you. And I don't want to scare you with that, but I mean, the universe this month is is really, I mean, it's also Scorpio season. And then we hit Sagittarius season, which is like, okay, so we have to purge and we have to just deal with the fact that we have endings, we have death and that's it. And it's a time of death and rebirth and whether you like it or not, time to move on, time to let this go and start moving on towards something else that's happening. And then you move to Sagittarius season, season, which is so focused on learning and growth and, you know, wearing many different hats and, you know, philosophy and understanding the deeper meaning of things. And it's so expansive and, you know, open to traveling and moving and, you know, going forward in all different types of unconventional ways, very much an energy that is good with you guys. It's a tough, it's a tough time because it's like, okay, so you've ignored that you've needed to change this for a while and that this is just not going to work out. It's not building into what you want it to. And it's realizing that that's really the crux here. We've put, we put our eggs into a basket that is just got holes in it. And we're wondering why there's no eggs in the basket every time we take the eggs from the coop to the house. I know that's a really weird analogy, but it's what I'm going with. <laughs> um, yeah. It's time to walk away from something really big. It's time. And for me, this feels a lot like if this doesn't start on that Scorpio new moon for you guys, I'd be very surprised if it didn't start right around then 
or even before that with that conjunction because that's an inflated and extreme energy where things are going to burst. People that you don't want to find out about certain things are going to find out about certain things. So if you're hiding things, hiding things from a significant other, from your friends, whatever it is that you're hiding, it will come out. And it's going to come right up for, forefront and center and you're going to have to look at your actions in a totally different way and what you have put your energy and effort into and what it might look like to other people. Um, and I know that I'm, you know, being an air sign, especially being an Aquarius, I don't know, being a Libra, I think is different than that though. Cause again, I don't want to putting labels on you guys is really hard because you're all so very different. Whereas other signs, it's like, okay, there's similarities there. Some Aquarians are just like, I don't, are you in, I don't know. You're just something else, but you guys are all very individual very different from each other but in terms of this message that we're getting here you need to like this is definitely the end of a cycle and needing to be alone for a bit or maybe that's not so much it hold on for those of you that resonated with work take it that way but in terms of emotional relationship stuff relationships maybe even just with friends there have been disparities there have been issues and we've looked at the other person like they're the only one contributing to it and we need to kind of look at it from that from the angle of you know we are at fault too we are also to blame so again, that's just like something that's just like, I'm just coming through really strong right now. Just maybe it's a totally separate thing. But this shows the need, yeah, to be like, okay, this is definitely a pause moment. That's clear. Like there's not much, there's not much growth again in that situation. That situation that just won't grow, it will end this month. Whatever that might be for you. It has to. Because if you don't, and again, it feels to me like for a lot of you, we've ignored it to the point where it's now going to come up forefront and center and we're going to have to really look at it and be like, oh my God, oh my God, I sabotaged myself or I let this person, this situation take from me, sabotage me. But I have to be honest, guys, when the seven of pentacles is reversed, you had a huge part to play in that because you didn't do anything to change it. You watched it go that way and did nothing. But Five of Swords and the Eight of Cups will force you to deal with that and to reckon with it. You don't want to get there, but we're here. And I feel like this has come up in many of your readings where, like, I've been warning about this. If you guys didn't do something about a situation that is not going to bring you what you think it's going to bring you, if you keep putting effort into something that is not healthy for you, that's not going to be good for you in the long run, it's going to fall apart in your hands. And you're going to lose some type of major battle. And like I said, if it's things that you don't want people to find out, they're going to find out about it. It's going to be a huge fight. It's going to cause you to have to either leave that or leave these people. And I have to say, leaving the situation is much better than leaving the people. Because they're doing it because they're concerned. And they're worried about you. And they want you. They want what's best for you. I'm not just saying be like, oh, your family's telling you what to do. It could definitely, absolutely be friends being like, Hey, are you okay? And you're like, yeah, I know I'm great. And they're like, I don't think you're great. I don't feel that you're great. I feel like you're in a bad situation and you keep kind of going down this rabbit hole. So if you do find yourself in conversations like that, don't try to fight it. Don't try to attack it. Don't try to weasel your way out of it. Maybe they don't see it the way that you see it, but maybe they see something that you need to see and that you need to listen to and that you need to be open to listening to. And again, with that five of cups, five of pentacles upright, we might need some time to ourselves this month to work through something, to separate ourselves from something. There's been a loss of some type and we're not really focusing on the love that we have, on the opportunity that we do have moving forward. We're very, very focused on this five of pentacles energy of being at a loss, of not having something. And I know Aquarians, because I read for you guys pretty often um, outside of, you know, YouTube, but... I feel like this has been coming up for a long time with a lot of you guys. Like, I want my partner. I want somebody to just, 
I need somebody to be with through this stuff. I need somebody to be with through this stuff. Well, the universe is saying you can't just do that. There's stuff that you need to work on by yourself and that you have refused to again and again work on by yourself. So if you're complaining about forever being single, forever being alone, you need to look at why that is. What are you not working on and why when, and I, again, we're going to get here actually. Let's get to love now. But you need to look at that because you're alone for a reason. This has happened for a reason. You're left in this position for a reason. It sucks. Lessons suck. Nobody said they're easy. Nobody said they're fun. But other than Scorpio, everybody's been kind of having a bit of a harsh read. Taurus had some nice things, but for Tauruses, it was very, it's not comfortable or fun. It's lot, It feels a lot like this. So um, I know that these changes and all these difficult things and the rug being pulled up from under you this month might feel very upsetting, jarring might make you feel like you're at a loss but it's necessary because it's forcing you to balance out your life in a better way and to ask for help when you need it and receive it be open to receiving help be open to receiving help be open to receiving help i'm going to say that at least seven more times in this reading because that's a problem that's clearly here because you guys are like, no, no, I got this. I'm going to do this on my own. I'm going to do this on my own. I'm not going to tell anybody how I'm really feeling about it or all the time I spend at night laying awake anxious about these things and beating myself up over all these things and thinking about what people think of me and how I look to others and am I eating the things that are keeping me, you know, fit. Are my... It's like just so obsessive. Like you guys are in this obsessive, very dark loop with this situation that is going to... Be put up front and center this month. Okay, let's see. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. I actually got this. I think it was also for either Gemini or Sagittarius, but um, don't feel too foolish. Don't feel too much like you have closed your eyes and run away from something, but also don't do that again this time. Please do not do that again this time. You're going to walk right off the cliff. Um, when the fool is reversed, you are not. You're purposefully being ignorant of the situation around you, of your surroundings, of where we're at, and what the reality is. You have to pay attention to the reality, even if you're dreaming and moving forward in a positive direction and you don't want to worry about things. You kind of have to sometimes, okay? So, tough energy. It's, it's kind of like tough shit. But this month, it's all kind of tough shit. So... In terms of love, though, in relationships, there's some big stuff here. You have to decide where you stand and how you feel, you know, where you want something to go before you, because there's, because you have options, you have options, but you have a lot of fear about all this you have really good cards for love really good cards for new love for those of you who are single but you have to deal with all this that kind of sucks right because we can't and again we are gonna have to talk about this with somebody four of wands sometimes for me comes up as relying on friends relying on other people but it's also a really wonderful card of we're gonna be very present in where we're at this month and the changes that we're experiencing and three of swords yeah it's there and so is judgment, but it's forcing us, if we want this, and like, look, at it's like you're running towards the finish line. You're almost there. You're going to get there. You can, you can be happy in terms of love and relationships, but you have to, you have to dredge this all out and look at why, why these things happen again and again, why we get stuck in these romantic loops, why we sabotage ourselves, why we get down on ourselves, why we find excuses for being happy. And why we chase the people that we do when they just don't bring happiness or they're emotionally abusive and manipulative. You know who I'm talking about. But a past situation might have left you really bitter. Okay. But the Aries in me is going to tell you to get up and move on. Because it's time to. And it's time for you to stop treating it the same way that you've treated 
this past, you know, it's time for you to stop treating everything now and everything moving forward the way you treated that past situation, the way that you made it feel. You can't react to now the way that you reacted to the past. Okay? Because you have this Ace of Swords here. Before I even pull out any more, let's talk about the ones on the table, right? Ace of Swords, Six of Wands, and Justice. We have Venus moving into Scorpio this month. There's something I want to say. But it, it was in Libra, you know, up right up until, what is it, the 22nd. So we have all this time to be in that Libra and sense of relationship, of balancing things, of seeing things in a more equilateral way rather than what's best for me or what's best for that person or whatever kind of blind way that we've been looking at this, okay? Because it definitely feels very very blind, very one-sided. Like we haven't been able to see a more expansive view of this um, or we've kind of refused to. And I don't want to like come at you that way, but there is success, there is happiness here and there is overcoming something, but we're going to have to take responsibility for our own actions and step up to the plate and do the hard work. It's there though. It's successful. It's happy. Things are going to move forward so nicely, but you have to be also willing to confront people if you have feelings, if you're wondering what's going on, if you are inter interested in somebody, it's time for you to start taking those steps and putting yourself on the line a little bit. Okay. Look what happens as soon as I say that, the lovers. There is a beautiful connection with somebody this month and I think you know if you don't already know who it is you will meet this person soon but there's a really really beautiful energy between you it's so incredible it's magnetic you can't keep away from each other you can't stop thinking about them it's so much when an Aquarian has a crush it's like I feel like when any fixed sign has a crush it's like oh uh, all-consuming it really is, though. I don't even want to say just Aquarians because Tauruses, Scorpios, and Leos are all like that. Leos a little bit less because they're like, love me, worship me. And that's fine. Everybody should be a little bit like that. Everybody should deserve to be worshipped. But you guys sometimes get a little too in your head about your fantasies and you need to bring them out into reality. Go for it. Do something. Be adventurous. And when the sun moves into Sagittarius, or even before then, you might just do that. But there's somebody, maybe an Aries, a fire sign, somebody with those placements doesn't have to be that way. For a lot of you, it feels like a very interesting, attractive, when I, ever, I see that black cat, she just feels magical. She's so vibrant, vivacious. Like, there's just something there. Again, there's like this, there's just like this kismic connection between you and somebody, and you are loving what you're seeing you're loving this connection you are finding them fascinating interesting uh extremely attractive mysterious like i want to know i just i want to know you more please like let's talk and aquarius like please let's talk let's have a conversation i want to know you and it all comes up so beautifully so if you want to go in a new direction in terms of love stop making excuses being afraid because something very different than what you've ever done before. Maybe that's why you kind of balk at it. Not only because of the past, but because it's different. And you're afraid of where it might lead and what might happen. I don't want this because it's like this. Or I don't want this person because they're far away. Or I don't want this person because they're too tall for me. Or something silly, something stupid. Something that shouldn't matter. Because again, all is fair in love and war. And this month... That is absolutely the energy. So if you want it, go out and get it. It is, the, it is there. Stop doubting yourself. If, again, there's a lot of self-doubt here. It's like, I don't know if I'm reading the energy right. I don't know if they like me. I don't know. I don't know. Aquarius. 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 Read the room. I think it's pretty obvious, right? Especially if the flirting has already begun. Like, what are you what are you confused about? I don't know. But it's beautiful. And you know what? Let's leave it there because Ten of Cups is one hell of a way to close that one out, right? Let's just stop. We're going to stop there. And I'm going to actually pull a Stacey DeMarco Halloween Oracle um, for you guys instead of the ones that I usually do. I don't know. Just feel like it. Let's see what comes out. 
get one already jumping right out Aquarius. if you guys haven't do make sure to subscribe share the video if you enjoyed it and if you want to book a reading all my info is always below the video in the description box there he is Aquarius. advice and guidance November 2020. What do they need to know? Oof. Wow, okay. You get two really amazing cards. <clears throat> so Apple, Risk and Reward. I love this card because it really asks you to step up. Hold on, I'm just trying to get the little book here. So I don't have to find the page after. There we go. So again, we get Apple, Risk and Reward, and I'll show you the next one in a second because I think you'll be really happy and I'm not going to show it to you until I have it. If I don't, I'm not dropping the cards, that is. Okay. <laughs> hey, Mercury is not fully direct yet. It's still in its shadow. Give me a break. Um, Apple, Risk and Reward. So, should the candy apple present itself here in the reading? You're being really asked to really look at here how risk plays out in your life. Are you hedging your bets and not trying anything new? Do you want to change but are not willing to change anything? And are you willing to risk to get a greater reward? Or alternatively, are you risking too much too often? I think for you guys, this is actually telling you to take the risk. In a lot of ways, take the risk by ending this situation before the other situation here that we were talking about at the beginning before it gets worse. And take the risk in terms of love. Go for something even if... You're uncomfortable and you're worried about how it might turn out. You'll never know if you don't try. You like If you label something before you've gotten to try it, before you've started, before you have given it the chance or given that person the chance to show who they are, to show what your connection is, then you're not really giving it what, it, what it's due here. If you judge something before you try it, if you think you're doing the right thing by stepping away from it, look again. So I think you're going to really look at yourself in a different light this month and be like, why am I doing this to myself every single time that something good happens or someone good comes into my life here? And then we get the skull of light illumination. Should, so um, let me actually start this up here. I love this message. The idea of being shown the way in the most difficult of times and always knowing that we are never alone in the darkness are the keys to this magical element. Light is usually a comforting thing, yet sometimes we do not really want to see the boogeyman under the bed. It is too scary, too big, and we know not how to defeat it. Yet by simply shining the torch upon such darkness, the victory is ours. Should the skull of light enter your life, know that it is time to open yourself fully to the clarity of bright illumination. Allow yourself to be seen, to see, and to act upon what is shown to you. The time has passed for hiding, for pretending, and for swallowing our discomfort by accepting the status quo when it really doesn't suit us. Mic drop. All right. I love you guys. Have a wonderful and blessed month. Um, if you want to get 30% off of an astrology um, chart reading, uh, compatibility reading, numerology chart and compatibility reading, please use my code DQ30 over on Truly Divine. They give you like eight pages worth of information. It's like they just do a great job. So feel free to check them out and you can use my code, which is in the description box below as many times as you want. Have a wonderful and blessed rest of November, guys. I love you so, so much. And again, Aquarius, I know this all seems really intense. The fixed signs are, other than, again, now maybe it's not just the fixed signs. A lot of the signs are getting hit hard this month with all that scorpionic stuff. So don't be like, oh my God, like you're coming at me and all this stuff. It's actually not bad. It wants to bring in so many good things. And it's just trying to force you to give yourself the chance to be happy and fulfilled in life. So don't get so mad or upset that, erg, this isn't working out the way I want it to, or this is tough. This is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. I love you guys. Namaste.